There's so many more demon fangs, I think, that I can collect from from fights. I should turn them off a little bit earlier. <laughs> Hopefully things go better. Loading zone here is like two seconds longer if mini games are on. Some for some reason, I don't know why. I am hot and ready to go. I'm not sure that I am, but... I don't know. I don't expect, like, too much from this category as a whole. I just want to have, like, a solid run. I'm not looking for anything that's, like, perfect and, like, incredible and unbeatable. I just want, like, a solid run that's, like, good to watch, so... If I could do that, that would be tight. Nice, solid video game play. <sighs> I practiced a couple of the things that went badly in my last couple runs. And a couple of other things I hope are just going to get better naturally. And then just pray that I don't fail half of the skip. It's kind of all I'm looking for, basically. And, um, and kind of getting more used to the difficulties of this run. Like the mini games, the manual splitting, the stuff I've never done before, the stuff I have done before, but that's really hard. There's kind of a lot going on, but I think the more I do it, the more accustomed I will get to everything, and each part will become a less big deal over time as it becomes more second nature. should have got, like, water. Hmm. Thinking phase. Ooh, this might be a hard screen to mash. That's because I'm not warmed up on my mashing yet. Got it? fix my, uh, my route is not in a good spot. I don't really need it right away, but in fact, I don't need it for quite a while. Got it. I almost went back into the River of Heavens. That would have been super cringe. Hmm. I didn't have to miss that. I missed it because I was trying to fix my the route, so it was at the right spot. 
Oh well, just pretend I messed it up by missing an input on the second cycle specifically. Uppy thing, he's been terrorizing my runs. I haven't practiced it out of spite. Hopefully it will not terrorize my runs. Although if I wanted that, I probably shouldn't have talked about it. I probably should have done it and just been like, haha. I wasn't worried about it at all. Okay, that was cool. Cool. Good segment, a lot of demon fangs so far. I have to get some more right now. More demon fangs. Good job, me. So here I'm not doing turnips yet. I do turnips later on. I just have to grab the excess here. Ironically, because of all the Demon Fang stuff I'm doing, but then I skip turnips, I get to this section around the same part in a normal any percent run. It's about the same time. The, uh... The Demon Fangs apparently cancel out the turnips. I super don't have dash, by the way. Dude, how did I miss that one? What? Mistake. Oh no, my keyboard. I have to replug in my keyboard. I'll have to do that when, um... After Boulder. I did not get the amount of demon things I wanted there at all. Mistake. Oh well, that's not that big of a deal. Frame perfect fan, that's, that's cool. The, um... The fight was reasonably quick, so that's kind of nice, I guess, but, uh... I meant to get at least two demon fangs there, and I unfortunately did not. This is around like an 840 boulder, but I have like a million demon fangs, so that's cool. on the way out here. Oh, I can't split because my keyboard has to be plugged back in. That's funny. That's fine. I don't know what caused that glitch. It's kind of weird, though. I might have missed the mashing here. I don't think I got it. Uh, hello game. I have no idea why it just did that. 
Uh, is that a reset? That was so slow, oh my god. I was plugging back in my controller, but for some reason it caused me to not be able to use my... Alright, I was plugging back in my keyboard and it caused my controller to stop working for a second. That's really weird. And makes me very sad. that, but that's really unfortunate, but probably didn't lose as much time as it felt like. It felt like that took like a million years, but in reality it was probably only like 10 or 15 seconds. Which is, I mean, that's a lot, especially early on, but I'm not resetting for that. I can't. I don't have time to reset at all. If I fail, Yalo and skip for half blue skip or something, the run is basically just that I can't do another one, so... Is this for real? How is he not dead, dude? Come on. I'm just trying to get a demon fang. Why does it have to be like that? Super annoying. It's gotta stop. I really have to stop doing that. Like, seriously. I'm just trying to get a demon fang. leaving Hanna like normal and then uh, I missed a bat split, unfortunately. And then I will have some uh, lily pad to collect. 
And then the treasure collecting will start. Because I need a lot of yen. Very early on in the game. I need 50,000 yen before I go to the dojo. And I go to the dojo before I do just about anything. Except dogs. The only thing I do is like two-thirds of dog quest. And you do not get 50,000 yen by doing two-thirds of the dog quest, that's for sure. Which means I have to go find a bunch. To Kamiki. And we do not want to continue exploring Shinshu Field at this time. I'm afraid not. Ooh, late to the mashing. Always late to the mashing I am. Got it. Oh no, I'm actually out of yen. Is that okay? Or out of ink? I guess it's okay. I might have to... No, I'm okay. It's fine. Careful. Chill for one second. Okay. I'm just gonna take a quick glance to make sure I have everything over here, because I really, really, really don't want to miss anything in this direction. Everything should be good. Should be everything. Wow, I've got a minute and 40 seconds to do the Konohana shuffle. Surely it won't take that long. I must be ahead. I am ahead, but it's funny because the Konohana shuffle does take like 10 years.
Alright. Now we go get Cherry Bomb. I already bought my herbs. I don't need more herbs. Oh, no. I could have got three Demon Fang from that shit, dog. That would have been tight. Shuffle Red of Sunrise, actually, I'm not sure. I just draw really tight circles around the bud. I think drawing really small circles probably helps. That would be my, my guess. That's what I do with Blooming Trees as well is you try to draw like the smallest possible circles that go all the way around the tree. I think the bigger they are, the the more the game likes them to be crazy. Too great, but wasn't too bad. Good segment. I missed two demon fangs in the one fight, but I did do it pretty quick, so it might have been worth it. It's kind of hard. The spread I got wasn't really conducive to getting Demon Fang, so I think it was okay for me to skip those. I, I don't hate it. Um, I do need to go open the Demon Gate now, which is a little bit atypical. It's um, considered to be faster to open this Demon Gate later. However, I need the yen early on, so I need to get it now. My yen is more important now than it is later, so I want the money now. there, but oh well. Can't get them all. I also missed that one, but oh well. Alright, now I can continue.
No. No, I missed them all. Very unfortunate. I gotta do Waka Skip here, which is a little bit... Waka Skip's been going really badly for me, so much like Uppy Thingy, I'm hoping that it's gonna be not so much of an issue this time. Because it's been going very poorly for me. I don't like the way this is going. Okay. Okay, I learned that new backup last time I was having trouble with this. I think that that might even should maybe it should even be the standard way to do this trick and not just the backup cuz it feels a lot safer. <sighs> Big time save. Uh I need that bud. I need this. Alright, half blue skip. This is the, the the clench part. If I fail this trick, then I've earned myself two hours of practice because the run's dead and I'm not doing another one. So I have to get this trick or I need to say goodbye to this entire day of, of speed running. Feels really good so far. Feels like a winner to me. Having trouble with my clip. Okay. That was really scary. But should be okay still. Okay, we're good. I get to play the video game. My setup was really good. The out of bounds clip was really not good, but it seems like if you just kind of wiggle it enough, it kind of works its way out eventually. And that, um, that's fine, I guess. I didn't have dash. I was like, wait, do I have dash? Alright. My luck doing that trick in this run, in like the not, not this specific run, but this category has been really good. I have never reset this trick in this category, which is great. Fantastic.
Let's do this hard ass trick. Hard ass trick incoming. trick first try not as easy as it looks Be really careful about a soft lock here. Being very careful. Alright, did not soft lock. Ah. Now we shall continue. digging. Uh, I don't know if this is a good place to mash. Got it. I guess every place is a good place to mash if you mash hard enough.
I have to dig up a treasure here. Also, I haven't touched my uh, my route sheet in a while. I should probably do that during this cutscene because I can't do anything during it anyway. I kept Dash through this sequence, which is really interesting. And I, I'm gonna, yeah. Kept a good two seconds of Dash. That's like a tiny fraction of a second save, but you know, whatever. This early game should be a lot better than last time. I'm gaining even more time here, it looks like. I should be gaining another, uh... 20 seconds. Fifteen seconds. <sighs> ah.
Not sure if I'm fake dashing right now. I hope I'm not. I believe I am though. I believe it's confirmed I am. Forty-nine demon fangs. Um, so I can get in total eighteen. So if you add that in to forty-nine, it's uh, sixty-seven. I'm looking for another, like, 15 or so demon fangs on the safe side. And then also I'm going to be doing um, my treasures here, and I need to pray that um, I get enough yen after I dig up this one treasure and sell everything. I'm looking for 50k, that's the magic number, so that I can do dojo. Had enough actually. It's so tight this gun route. Now I have to focus on this trick because I haven't been doing that well with it recently.
Oh no. Could have been first try. Mistake. Setup there was really poor. However, the the wall jump and the curve around and the bonk were really, really excellent, which made it possible to recover that. I have to learn two abilities in the dojo. Two. I must talk to... Oh, what is his name? Onigiri-sensei? Hmm. Again. I'm not picking up the crystal here, because jumping up that platform sucks. Now we must do the Ubume skip. I missed my dojo split. Ubume skip. One try. For great victory. Nice, dude! I love hitting that skip. Or, more accurately, I hate missing that skip. If 
Fire burst. Dude, how did that happen? That's so rare for me to do that by accident. What a unusual occurrence. I can't believe it. I thought it was perfect. I couldn't, I can't believe it. I didn't think a single thing was wrong there. I was already taking that check to the bank, dude. It was in my, my hubris, I don't know. I, I thought it was literally already done. I couldn't believe it. Whatever. It's not... It's... I mean, that's a pretty bad time loss. It's probably worse than hitting the Ubume, honestly. Seeing as... I think I lost time, even though my previous run did hit the Ubume. So, I mean... I, I don't know. It's just a freak accident, I guess. What else can you call it? Four demon fangs. That should be enough, right? That should be enough. I'm gonna turn them off after this. That was really weird and messy. things to do. Dude, let me up. Oh my god, this is really easy. Just go stand on the thing. Games are over.
I jump right before I hit that treasure. Hey, Raichu. I don't know how long ago you said that. I've been really focused on my video game. It could have been like a minute ago. Or more. Nothing gets me all riled up like collecting treasures. Ah, uh, this way. I always want to go out the front there. Um, everything's been pretty good. This run is way better than my previous ones. Let me, uh... The, um, the only thing that was, like, really, really cringe was, um... When I was doing Fire Burst, I hit it, like, perfectly first try. But I landed in the loading zone back out, and I got... I landed and went back outside of Seon, which is, like, really, really sucky. That's, like, the worst possible way to fail that trick. Because you do the whole thing, and, uh... Then literally watch two loading zones and then start from the beginning. It's so cringe. But everything else was actually really good. That's a frame early jump. Or late, maybe, not sure. Seems like I lost speed, so it might have been late. Good. Um. Yeah, like, the uppy thingies were way less cringe. Sasa early was first try. Um, I skipped the Ubame, which is feels good moment. I finally had enough yen without needing to do any extra fights or anything that wasn't planned. Or having to skip, um... Having to skip dojo clips so I could go collect treasures elsewhere. I didn't have to do any of that, I just had 50,000 yen the exact moment I'm supposed to have 50,000 yen. Which is really cool because the yen route here is so tight. That early game yen is just, uh, completely brutal. I hit the frame perfect jump here, so I've been, I've been toasted. But yeah, so other than... The thing is, I mean, that Ubume mistake really does cost just a ton of time. Which really sucks, like, that uh, that the one mistake cost me so much time. Um, but, um... Ev everything else has been really good, so I mean... You know... It's an hour into the run. There's going to be some mistakes, and some of them might be really bad. So, all things considered, I think I think it's in a good spot so far. And uh, I didn't practice a ton before this run because I'm in kind of a time crunch. I have something scheduled later on, so I had to start pretty quickly. So I I popped on really quick. I did um, Crimson Helm one time. And it worked the way it's supposed to work, doing the R-Ride strat from the new video. I did Ida one time and kind of solidified a few things about my Ida strategy, like the angle you're running and like figuring out exactly where he spawns and everything to get that all sort of sorted out. Um, and everything else I'm just kind of hoping is going to work a little better, just kind of from having done it. Another time recently, it'll just work out, is my, my prayer. Because if I had practiced everything in this run, it would take me all fucking week. So I really don't want to do that. I really just want to do the run, you know? I want to get it over with. Which is maybe a little bit hasty and a little bit like not putting in the work but expecting the results, which is a little bit like not, not what I want to do, but I... I'm hoping that my previous um, strategies, practicing and everything, will just kind of work and hopefully make me make me able to do like I don't want to I don't want like a hundred percent perfect run. I just want it to be like ninety six percent good.
All the scrolls chasing me right now is going to be really inconvenient. I barely had enough yen to buy everything without shopping. Without selling, I mean. I didn't want to sell because it takes a lot longer. It's faster to sell all in one go. It saves menuing. So ideally I want to not shop. Or I want to not sell multiple times. Like every time I talk to a shop, I don't have to sell all my stuff. Which will save me yen in the long run. Or save me time. Oh, I missed my shopping split again. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, my goal isn't to like do like amazing perfect unbeatable splits. I'm just looking for consistency. I'm looking for like Everything to maybe lose a couple seconds, maybe a few things like second try, third try, no big deal. But I don't want anything to take me like two minutes to do, and I don't want anything to just be like a total train wreck. Small mistakes I can I can live with, no sweat. I just want to keep chugging along. Keep chugging along. That's my motto here. Just keep going. take the cutscene here, because I was close to the... I was gonna... I'm really close to the landing pad, so whenever I'm that close to it, I just take the cutscene. So I don't get the one at the top. I got stuck on the corner. <laughs> Whatever. Small mistake, doesn't matter. Because I said so. Uh, yeah, I'll try to split. I'll do it right after the constellation. My splits at the beginning of the run were good. Other than that, my, um... So there's a weird glitch with my keyboard, where my keyboard sometimes like glitches out and kind of turns off a little bit. And the way to fix that is I have to unplug it and plug it back in. So that happened, and I unplugged it and plugged it back in, and when I did that, my controller kind of turned off temporarily. So at the beginning of the run, I lost like probably 15 seconds or something, just standing still, and my controller wasn't working for a moment, which is really weird. Um... Anyway, so I missed the split when that happened, for obvious reasons. Um, but other than that, my splits were pretty good until recently. And then I just missed like three of the last four, so whoopsie. Split, 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 split. Split. I'm not sure if I'm any more ahead than I usually am or not.
I need to pick up the SFS. Do I? I think I did my last run, but I don't think I need to, do I? Maybe I do need to. I think I do. I think I should get it. It's not too long to get it. I just want to be safe. I'm gonna run right past it anyway. I like super lost my dash there, but that's fine. I don't really need it. Got half blue skip. Uh, Suta Ruins coming up. Dude, why did my fish take so long to spawn there? That was like weird. It was probably only about like fraction of a second, but that felt like it took a really long time for the fish to show up. There was like no fish. Like, normally there's a fish. And I'd like wait. Weird. That's really odd. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Challenge you may split coming up. About thirty seconds. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know why the, the game looks at Ami when uh, Ume's challenging you. It like looks really stupid, you're just standing there, and it's like, do you want to kill this dog? And you're like, fuck yeah I do, and it just like makes you, you just stand there like looking at nothing, like a cold-blooded killer. Oh dude, what? Oh wait. Jump into it! Oh my god. That was some really unnecessary. Oh, I missed my challenge, Ume split. God damn it. <laughs> I got distracted by Ume looking stupid. That's okay. I have another split in a second. It looks like I'm still about... Um, I'm still about a minute 30 ahead, I think. I don't think I've gained any additional time. I think I'm just maintaining right now. Because I have to watch... Normally I watch... Yeah, this... Well... Right now I'm splitting literally when I enter Suta, but normally my auto-splitter splits like right at the end of this cutscene. Which is only about like a three second difference anyway, but... The, the, the point is I have to wait for this cutscene, and then I can split, which means I'm about... Uh... Losing some... yeah, a minute forty. Alright, let's do some Suta. Mmm, I knew I was gonna hit it. <clears throat> Fuck, whatever. It's not that bad, because I have to do the skip on the way out. So it doesn't... Uh, it's not guaranteed that just because you get it the first time, you could mess it up the second time. And also it saves me time to not have to do it on the way out. So I think in comparison, normally in New Game, you would lose like 18 seconds or something. I think in this run... 
Uh, it's probably closer to like 13. Or potentially it could be faster to hit the cutscene there if I were to skip it the first time and then fail it the second time. Then I would still watch the cutscene but also waste even more time setting up skips. So... It's not good to watch the cutscene, but because we don't kill Spider Queen, it's um, it's not quite quite as unfortunate as it can be in New Game. Hitting that skip first try kind of makes up for it too. I'm not sure if I kept Dash here. If I lost Dash, I'm gonna have some trouble in this section. Hopefully, I kept Dash. I kept it. All right, pray. Nice. Might have jumped a little early. Nope, got it. Okay, so all things considered, uh, hello. Uh, sh should I re-dash? No, I have dash. Okay, I still have real dash. Wow, it's amazing. Um, so all things considered, that intro cutscene, uh, this is still actually a really good Suta ruin so far, honestly. Even hitting that cutscene. Oops. Oh, fuck. Well... I might I might get the sneeze here now. Oh, I didn't. Wow, I didn't know you could snip the skis with uh, the sneeze with green dash. I've never tried before, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. But um, yeah, the those other two skips are pretty tough. So it's really not that uncommon to like hit the second fight or um, take a couple tries on the single skip. So overall, actually, I think hitting the cutscene, but doing everything else first try is actually about average or so, or above average slightly even, because of the fact that it saves you the cutscene skip on the way out. Yeah, because of like the cutscene skip on the way out, I think hitting it on hitting that cutscene on the way in costs about as much time as like getting like third or maybe fourth try single skip probably third try which like getting third try single skip is like the most normal thing in the world it's really finicky what's up Heyo? uh i didn't split for blockhead a little bit unfortunate whoopsie but yeah single skip is not a trick where you can like practice it until you get it every time like it is expected that you are going to mess up single skip sometimes It's just the way of the world. So, like, not messing up single skip is, like, really lucky. Which kind of means that... Um... Getting it first try kind of counteracts the fact that, um... I messed up the cutscene skip a little bit. It's, like, not so bad anymore. I always hate it when my camera is this close. I really should figure out how to do the setup that, um... It's not so bad, but... Um... Yeah, it's a cool run. I like this run quite a lot, too. It's, uh, this is a pretty fun run. You get to, like, play a lot of the game, which is cool. Alright, pray for um, hitting all my cutscenes. Looks like I got it. That's good. What's up, Dream Rifty? Uh, it's all good. If you can't stay and watch, that just means you can watch it later once you know if it's actually a good run or not. Although that does take away the suspense, but... Uh... Wow, the timer is a little spooky right now. It's saying... Uh... In order to maintain my time lead... I need to leave Suta Ruins in 30 seconds? Am I leaving Suta Ruins that fast? 
Maybe, actually, yeah. Maybe I am leaving it in 30 seconds. I don't have to do the exit. Uh, I don't have to do the cutscene skip on the way out. So that'll save me a second. Oh no, I lost Ash. Uh, I'm not quite leaving it that quick, but a little bit after. My last run must have had a pretty nice suit of ruins, damn. I basically... I did everything good except the cutscene skip, and I lost about as much time as failing the cutscene skip loses, which means my previous run must have also had a perfect suit up. That's spooky. I didn't really notice it being that good, but it seems to be the case based on the time loss there. Spooky. I'm surprised I lost time there. I mean, I know that um, failing that cutscene skip is like really cringe, but like everything else is not so bad. Is Okami an active speed game? I would say yes. I mean, it depends on like your standard for active. I mean, it's not like like races going on all the time. Like, um, you know, it's not like Ocarina of Time or something. But it's it's not a dead speed game at all. People are there's people playing it like every day. So I mean, it kind of depends what your standard is. But generally speaking, I would say calling it. Uh, I'd say it's correct to call it active. I wouldn't say it's, like, highly active or, like... Oh, fuck, I gotta do this. Forgot. Do a thing. That's not that bad. It's a little bit bad, but... Um... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, highly active or, like... Anything like that, but it's certainly active. Dude, what the hell, Hayabusa? Dude, what the fuck, Hayabusa? Oh my god, this is so... I'm so bored right now. I don't understand how that one bomb didn't hit him. That was, like, right on him. And then he, like, ran away and did annoying Hayabusa things. Dick move, Hayabusa. Not cool. <sighs> Whatever. Coming up on Gale Shrine. So this is our chance at redemption to not fail the like one and a half cycle strat. I would really like it to be in this run, seeing as I kind of found it. Uh, and I failed it every single time since. All right, see ya, hey yo, have fun. The, the critical thing about the Crimson Helm strat is you just need every Cherry Bomb to land right away. You really can't ever have one not blow up instantly, because it's like barely not touching Crimson Helm or anything. You have to place them very carefully. You need to not hit iframes, and you need to not have a bomb land and then just like sit there and not blow up. It's super important. It, uh, it wrecks the strat super hard and will cost you just boatloads of time. 
Um, I have an ink upgrade available. So I think the other thing worth acknowledging too is if I do have anything like that where I think I'm going to fail like the one and a half cycle, what I should do is not use the second XS. Oh, sorry, yeah, the second XS. I said that right. Um, don't use the second XS and instead just wait for him to get the armor back. Upgrade my ink to six pots. And then use the excess to break the armor, Gale Storm, and then draw a bunch more Cherry Bombs. Um, I should never have the situation that happened like my last run, where I had to use an XM as, as well as the second XS. Or I might have even used like three XSs, I don't know how many I have, but... I, I definitely used an XM that was never meant to be used, and then I like three cycled them too, or like four cycled them or whatever. It was like really, really, really cringe. Um, that should never happen as long as I recognize when the, the strat's going badly. And if it is going badly, I just chill and I two cycle him like normal and upgrade my ink. There's, there's no reason I should have any trouble as long as I don't panic and like make a bad situation worse. However, I, I hope to do the strat correctly. But now that I've, I've thought about it more, I missed a split. Now that I've thought about it more, I, I never expect to have it be as bad as it was last time again. I didn't pick up my brush when I went to draw the straight line. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of chance to practice this. I only practiced it literally one time, which isn't even practice, that's just doing something. Doing something one time isn't practice, it's just doing it. But it did work when I did it, so I mean, I'm hoping I won't have to like actually practice it and it can just work. And I can move on with the speedrun without it having a whole big thing. I have uh, a minute and 40 seconds to get Kazegami without losing time. Uh, I, think I, mean, I think I'm losing time then. I don't think I can get there that fast. Probably time loss from Hayabusa mostly. Hayabusa probably lost me some big time. I mean, I lost all my ink, so I lost six seconds to that, and then had like a couple cherry bombs like sit there and do nothing and stuff, so... Bro. There is definitely there's some, there's gonna be some time loss here. Maybe 15 seconds even. Which is a little bit bad, but... Just hoping for Crimson Helm to go well, and then that time loss will look like nothing. Damn. I almost kept my dash, but I didn't make it up the stairs. Yeah, I'm losing some, some serious time. Not sure what was wrong with that, but okay. Yeah, very cringe. Really bad. Whatever. 
It's alright. It was just a bad segment. Time to keep it cool and do this segment real smooth like. That's what we're doing. We keep it chill, do it real smooth. Dude, duh, come on! How does this shit happen to me, man? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm so upset right now. I fucking hate this boss. Holy shit. Okay, whatever. It wasn't that bad. I just did the backup. It's fine. I just wish the strat would work. It's you miss one bomb. The problem is if you like power slash the bomb or whatever, like it just costs all your ink and you don't have time anymore. Like you you can't afford to power slash the bomb. And, and still recover the strat. You have to just, every bomb just has to land. And it's super annoying because there's a gale storm going on. Super annoying. Uh, like that. It's just so frustrating, I hate that. Like, I'm just drawing it, like, right on top of him, and then the bomb just, like, pops out somewhere else random, and then it's blown away from him. It's, like, so upsetting. It just feels like there's nothing you can do, but it's just because I haven't practiced it enough yet. There's... You're probably just, like, not supposed to draw it right on top of him or something. You just have to draw the first one or two, like, in a way that they get blown into him by the Gale Storm or something. I just haven't spent enough time doing it. So it's it's my fault ultimately, but I only lost probably like three seconds, five seconds or something. Goddamn. Super annoying, though. When I'm in my loading screen here, I'm, uh, well, actually, no. My Demon Fang probably hasn't changed since the last time I looked at it. It should still be, like, 67 or whatever it was at. 60, I think it was at 63. And I can get up to 18 from Foxes, and I also will get three more from Sunken Ship. So I should have two more fangs than I need, actually. But I, they won't change at any point until... 
I actually do something shit. This one. This part, that part really tricks me up, selecting the, um, where to go there. Because, like, visually, at that point, you go on the bottom left one. Because the bottom left one is, um, Rio Coast. The one that's up and right from it is, um, oh, I need to sell, apparently. That's enough selling. Um... The one that's up and right from this is Catcall. But then, the next time that you're you're coming over here, which is actually when you are doing... Um... What? The next time you're kind of warping near here is when you're going to the aristocratic quarter. I gotta do an extra jump. You have to go to the Aristocratic Quarter to get Deluge and, like, Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing that, you also go to, like, the bottom left one. But the bottom left one now, it's like... It's in your mind that, like, the bottom left goes here. But when you once you activate that, that fountain, this one is, like, in the middle. In the, the Aristocratic Quarter is now the bottom left one. So it's like, it kind of tricks your brain. Where you're like, the bottom left one is this, because I, I just went there like an hour ago, and that's not true anymore. Um. So here I'm picking up the Vengeance Slip, and I have to go get the Marlin. We are not going to Dragon Palace quite yet. Like, all brushes things have a tendency to happen in twos. Like, you do Power Bomb 2 and Power Slash 2. You do the Marlin, and then you do Fountain. You do Thunderbolt, and then you do Deluge. They have a, they have a tendency to kind of clump themselves up like that. So here I'm doing the Marlin, and then I'm doing Fountain. And I'm not ready to advance the story until I'm done with those two things. That was fast. Oh man, give me the insta, give me the insta, ah, oh. give me the insta, come over here, come here. Uh. Come here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dude, stop. Oh my god, this is so hard this time. Okay, the last one he just came to me. Whatever.
Jeez. Some fat fingering occurred on my splits there. <laughs> That's for sure. Otohime? Do I, will I ever do Top Dog? Maybe? I feel like at some point, once I'm not completely ashamed of my run of this category, I might take a break? Because I've been doing runs for about another month and a half or so. No. Um... So, I have to do Fountain now. It's one of those things I'm very unable to miss. So, yeah, I don't know. This run is kind of like an intermediate to Top Dog. Now I'm really good at the mini games, which I was not before. And I kind of know a lot. I understand the Yen route kind of a lot better. I know what's going on with the treasures a lot more than I used to. Um. But yeah, I did have like a really annoying experience doing Top Dog where the game kept crashing on me. Oh no, I didn't use the Infinity! Fuckity fuck, dude. That's really bad. Uh, okay. I, I think it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of bonk in here. Uh, not this. I think I, if I run out of ink here, I think I'm not gonna lose that much time. She's still on her way down. This is not that bad. It's not great, but I think this is okay. Honestly, the Infinity maybe doesn't even help that much, to be honest with you. I, I'm i okay with this. I'm not even sure the Infinity saves that much time, but... Uh, to be completely honest, in future runs, I might consider not even picking up the Infinity and... Because you have to pick up an Infinity. You don't buy it. You have to, like, take it. Um... You, like, you have to go get it in Gale Shrine, and it's slow. It's not, like, a really quick treasure at all. Um, so, like, between the time lost opening the menu to use it and getting the treasure, I'm honestly not even convinced that's worth it anymore. I don't think it saved me... What does it take me, like, 8 seconds, 10 seconds to get the treasure, and then another, like, 3 seconds to menu it? I'm not sure that that was worth, like, 13 seconds or whatever to use an infinity there. It might not even be worth it, to be painfully honest. <sighs> Did I miss anything? I didn't miss a brush power, so my run's not dead. Um... It, it was probably partially Fountain and partially Crimson Helm. Those are the two places. Also, I had to pick up extra treasures because I fucked up Crimson Helm so bad on my, my run. called the cabbage before I got it. I saw that y you called it. I lost Dash. hi yeah, it's okay. Um... 
Um, yeah, I... I don't know. I don't... All the extra Gale Storming and, like, Blooming on her really doesn't seem like it helps. Because she only moves, like, one tile at a time. It seems like you just let her walk and it's fine. Like... I don't know. Given the tightness of the Yen Rod, I'm not sure that it's worth it. Uh, okay. Rip the fast thing I normally do here. <laughs> no fast thing today. This is the anti-speed zone. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really qualified to comment on, like... Uh, I mean, I, I guess I literally did just comment on it repeatedly. I haven't, like, spent a lot of time practicing that. Um... So, like, I don't really know, like, how fast it's possible to do it, right? In, in both variations. But... It didn't seem very much faster without it. Or very much faster with it. I need to get Demon Fangs here. Oh! I got hit, that's kinda bad. Uh, whatever, it's fine. I got enough demon fangs. I got hit though, which is kind of cringe, but... Um... That's okay. I can make up for that. And the demon fangs should be okay. I'll check after Sunken Chip, but I, I think I'm fine. Dude, wh uh, why god? What is up with Dragon doing this to me in all of these runs? I only had one run of all brushes where the Dragon didn't do this to me. It's like, that was pure, there's nothing I could do about that. It was literally just, I was doing my thing and it just does it. That's not me. Anyway. Oh no, I lost Dash. I meant to, I was jumping, but I, I got too close too quick. Mistake! So I skipped Dubume here, despite that my Fire Burst split looks like a train wreck. But my Fire Burst split looks like a train wreck not because I failed Dubume skip. So I can't run across the bridge like uh, like I don't have a care in the world. So what are we looking for here in the next segment of the run? I have a camera clip to do. 
in Sunken Ship. And a clip to do to get into Sunken Ship. Um, I need to kill the ghosts before I do the clip um, in, inside the ship. Because otherwise they will fuck with you even during the brush menu. I just realized the cutscene right after you do this is the water dragon chasing you right after you killed him. Dude, can I stay on the things? Okay, that was really fast. That was extra fast that time. What's up, Rao? We just gave you the fox rods. Why are we on the ship looking for the fox rods? Question mark. I'm just gonna check my fangs here. 81, right? That's what it said. I, I looked really quickly. Nice. That was really fast, too. Things are going my way a little bit here. I just need to be really careful not to fall out of bounds here. Chill. I really can't see where I'm going, which spooks the crap out of me. At the very beginning there. Uh, whatever. I don't really want to jump around that corner anyway. No, 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 oh, almost jumped too high. <laughs> Where's my thing? Hmm. Dragons back from the dead to punish our insolence. I'm resisting the urge to check my demon fangs again. I'm like 99% sure I have 81 demon fangs because that's like basically the exact amount I would expect to have. But uh... I'm a little worried. But how would I read 81 if it was actually like 79 or something? It's 81. Whatever, I checked, sue me. You can do- you can save dash through here. I did it last time. Hopefully I can do it again. Sure, close enough. Now we have to do palace escape and we're going to imperial palace.
Oh my god, that was the most sketchy way I've ever done that glitch. Ever. Like, by a lot. That was so suspicious, I cannot believe it actually worked. There was a lot of micro-adjustments that had to go on there to salvage that. That was not normal. last time too. Well, why do I insist on losing time to stuff? I don't know why that jump feels so hard when you're new to the game. But I used to have so much trouble with that. In fact, I never got consistent at it before I, like, started doing tab skip. Like, I was completely done with this route before I learned how to do that trick. I just stole an SFS apparently by accident. I, I don't understand. Or an SSS, rather, as it's called. Yeah, I literally stopped doing that route before I ever learned how to do that trick. And now I just can do it fine, and it's not even a problem. I mean, surely it's basically the same concept except a much easier version of, like, the, the jump across the river, the wet nipple kind of jump, or, like, various other examples of that kind of jump. So, like, by nature, just by being able to do those kinds of tricks... I can just buy default, like, um, do that trick now, I guess, because it's just the same thing except easier, but I just find it weird that, like, if it's that easy, why couldn't I do it before? <laughs> Just, I don't know. The jump timing was probably bad, and the... Um... The double jumps and stuff were probably bad. Just all, all bad stuff all around, I imagine. But it's just, I don't know. That's kind of how I'm hoping, like, everything in this run will work. I'm just hoping everything will, like, just work because I'm good at the game. Which, unfortunately, is not how... The, you know, that trick is working that way, but most tricks do not work that way. Most tricks in this route that are new, I can't just do them because I'm good at the game, unfortunately. As much as I would like that to be the case. But I can dream, can't I? Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. I can do it again. I've spoken too soon, right?
Alright, this section has been really unclean for me in various runs. Dude, what? Isun. Grab my treasure, please. As I was saying, the section's been very sloppy for me. I don't know why. <laughs> Actually, I do know why, it's because I don't practice, but... One of the- I'm just hoping that it's just gonna go really nicely one time, and it's, uh, not today, that's for sure. Well, it might still be fine, if the rest of it goes okay. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. That was cool, right? I, I looked like I practiced that, right? In fairness, that thing with the infinity, I don't know. That's like, is that even my fault? You be the judge. I don't know. I, f I feel like that was pretty weird. I imagine it's something about the, uh, like the bamboo shoot kind of being in the way that makes him not want to grab it. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing, so whatever. I, I did as well as I could with the information that I had. That's pretty good. This is way less uh, cringe than last time, overall, as a run, which is why I'm like almost four minutes ahead. Being four minutes ahead is tight. Shut up, Kaguya. Fog pot. Go to Himiko here. Okay, bye bye, lady. Never see you again. Have fun sitting with your rocket ship or whatever. See if I care. If you don't give me a brush power, I literally don't care. So, see you on the other side. Maybe somebody else will help you dig up the spring. I'm not. Maybe Take will dig it up for you. If you ask nicely. Oh, uh, I jumped a frame early, I think. I thought that looked okay, but those frame early jumps, they're... They're hard to spot sometimes. Huh. 
Nice, dude. Wow, look at me go. I'm some kind of speedrunner. I'm just gonna upgrade my ink right now. Stop me. my movement lock. Okay, we're good. Oof. Oh my god, I cut that so close. My double jump was so low. And my tackle was not great. And that was so scary. Um, Fun fact, I'm doing treasure hunting right now. Every time the game wants me to do something, like, urgently, I always do it in, like, the most lackadaisical possible way. Uh... Observe. You gotta get to Oni Island right away! Yeah, I'll get to it. We've got the, uh, what is it, like the Blue Ogre Skip or whatever, part two. It's important to just be careful here. As to avoid any uh, disasters. This has been a really good run for me. My best time has actually gone down since the run started. Alright, this is a hard trick. You really want this one first try, let's go. Dude, I'm so good at that trick now. It's so nice for me that I keep hitting that first try every every run. I I think I'm jumping a little bit later than I was before, and I think that's really helpful. And I think that I've just kind of got the rhythm down a little bit, and it's going super well for me. 
Uh, I lost speed. Very nice. Keep storing Dash through the entirety of, uh... The Gekagami thing. Which is kind of interesting. Here I have to wait a second to brush so I can thunderstorm properly. I'm trying to store dash through this if I can, ideally. Ooh. Last time I forgot to get a treasure here. I'm just gonna do this normal. I don't wanna make any mistakes and tilt myself. There's no reason to. Just play the game like a normal person. The pace is fine. There's no need to like push and stress yourself out for no reason. I'm I'm stressed out now.
What? This thing bugs me. Whatever. That's not that bad. of the, the last second. The holy smoke stopped registering. Just the last possible moment. Dude, good pace. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Everything weird happens after this point, right now, actually. I'm just really fast.
Dude, I never jump into that cutscene right. I like, th the first couple times, I like wasn't ready for it. That time I was ready for it, but I still didn't jump into it just cause it's like so much earlier than I thought it was gonna be. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm just trying to think to make sure I haven't made any mistakes in the route yet. To my knowledge, I've, I have done everything right. I have, uh... I have Whirlwind, I have Fire Burst. I have a Power Slash and Cherry Bomb 2. I have Veil of Mist. I have the Pot. The, the Mist Warp, I mean. I have Fountain. I have a boatload of treasure. <sighs> We're not gonna know where I am in terms of splits for quite a while. I'm hoping I can gain time in the moon cave. Not, I, I don't think I can gain a ton of time, but I can gain a little bit. Maybe a minute, if I play really good. I just really need to avoid dropping down into the basement floor. And then, um... The, the main part where I lost time previously was mostly fights. I really need the fights to just be really quick. Uh... Hmm. I think I have to do an extra vine here, because, uh... My initial jump was really cringe. Go into intercam to cut that eyeball from far away. I don't have a ton of yen for this fight. I probably have to do this. Uh... Kind of ink for this fight. Is what I'm trying to say. Not being able to use fire burst there kind of hurt me. But it, it was it was okay, I guess. I have gold dash still, which is cool. Mistake. And then finally I have a cutscene with Isun that I can skip by jumping here. Heck, I was trying to keep my dash. I did not keep my dash. So here I'm going straight to the top. To the moon. And then we gotta get out of bounds. In my last run, which was the, the one I reset, I hit this first try. Damn, I did not hit it first try. Like so. Looking good. I voided out? What? I've never voided out there. I held a direction a little bit more than I normally do. I did not know that could void you out. 
Very interesting. Hack dude. Weird. I've never seen that void out before. How uh, novel, huh? Let me out. I lost Dasha. Hack. Get over there. I'm trying to not get the peach. Hi.
Alright, basement skip, let's go. It's not a hard trick, but it's an important one. Alright, good. Alright, I meant to grab a treasure over there, but I failed, but that's fine, it's not that big of a deal. Nice, uh, nice moon cave so far. First is a power slash. Now we activate earth first. Then activate fire. Power slash earth. Do this cutscene. Do the other cutscene. No, 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 do the other cutscene. No, 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 no. And now, Orochi like normal. Now we do Orochi not normal at all. Completely abnormal Orochi time.
good? Everything's dead, right? Yep. <sighs> yup. We're miss warping the Shinshu, and then it's time for Ida, which is another time save opportunity. No saving. We don't save here. I don't save anywhere. I mean here as in, in speedrunning. I don't save in speedrunning. How I mean. So Ida's first. Three races. I really don't want to lose a ton of time to this shit. Preferably. Like, you know. It would make me happier if I didn't get decked here. Fucking gone, dude. I fucking hate that demon scroll. Like, for real. I'm not joking. I'm so tired of that shit. one. No, dude! Come on! How can you do this shit to me? I'm so tired of this. I'm beyond sick of that shit. I didn't even check if I fucking got it. I just want to make 100% sure I don't make any mistakes at this point. Any, like, big mistakes. That was so fucking cringe, though. I can't believe it just did that shit to me. I'm so tired of that demon scroll. I'm so tired of that fucking spike. Good god, let me be. I just want to do my run, man. Let me play my game for fucking serious.
I am not saving time on the split, unfortunately, even though it's an easy time save split. <coughs> Sucks. This should be good. I can't believe I lost time on that split, dude. That's so cringe. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gagging. I'm gonna gag, dude. Don't, don't look at me. I might have lost Dash by doing that movement like that. That was really weird. Oh, I still have it. Cool. So now we do Oki Skip. I still apparently need to do the pod setup, even though, I don't know, various reasons. You just, you just gotta go up here and then go down there. It's just the way it goes. Hopefully that's enough jumping around randomly. I'm a little low. I'm just don't just don't do it to me game. Just anything but it. You know what I mean. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Let me go. Oh my god, I just pooped my pants. I just pooped my actual pants from that fucking movement. This scared me so bad. I have dumped myself. I need 325k. I don't quite have enough, uh, so I can go do this demon gate right now to get more. Which just loses a couple seconds, because I need to do this demon gate anyway. Demon gates required. This isn't like a some insane backup. This is a thing that I do normally. I just don't normally. You don't have to do it before. Um, you can do it after you come back from Deluge. Oh, I have the wrong one on. Hold on. Let's fix that like right now. Um. Normally, it's it's a little bit more optimal if you do this demon gate after you um, get cherry bomb three, but you can do it before if you need a little bit of extra yen, which I do. time here? Wow. Oh, it's because I did the demon gate first. I understand. That's fine. This is Merry Christmas still. I'm just gonna skip the split because it's not, like, real. My splits will be accurate again after I do Deluge. Right now, though, if I split here, it wouldn't be accurate because I did the demon gate first. So I don't want to split and have it be, like, wrong for no reason. I'm a little tight on yen though. Because I have to do that demon gate first, it means that I'm a little short on yen. So I'll have to be a little more careful with my backups. And by careful with my backups, I mean I need to continue to do my backups and not skip them like I did in my last run. Uh, I need the extra yen right now.
And what I'm doing here is I'm warping to the Aristocratic Quarter. And as I discussed earlier, the Aristocratic Quarter is the bottom left in that little line. There's a line of, like, Catcall, uh, Ryoshima Coast, and the Aristocratic Quarter are all kind of in a row. And it's kind of hard to get used to that, but that's how it is. It's this one. <laughs> God damn, whatever. It's okay. Everything's good. This run's fine. So now we are going this way. I'm just saying this right now, because if I don't say it now, I'm going to do it later, and I'm going to hate myself. I am not doing the second palace escape. The eight second time save can go fuck off. I'm not doing that trick right now. Deal with it. I hate that trick. I'm lucky that I get it first try earlier in the run. I'm not dealing with it again. Eight second time save is not worth it to me in a three and a half hour run. I just want to chill and not have stressful shit happen that's going to piss me off. Let's just have a nice chill speed run now. I'm not interested in perfection, I'm interested in consistency. What do we say to Palace Escape? We say no. No Palace Escape. Bad <coughs> Palace Escape. Oh. I was trying to not uh, jump or anything because I had Fake Dash and then I hit like an auto jump trigger, unfortunately. Alright, now we are going to the end of the game. We are doing all sorts of tricks and things that I would normally do. The only real difference here is uh, I need to collect a bunch of treasures. There's no treasures in this exact area. In the next area, I'm getting two treasures. And I'm getting lots of treasures in Waoku Shrine. Let's once again mentally recap, have I actually missed anything yet? I have Deluge, I have Thunderbolt, I have Whirlwind, I have Fire Burst. I have everything.
Whoa, I almost fell off the front. Oh my god, that would have made me flip out. I would have lost it, dude. Dude, let me get some speed. Come on. I would have lost it. I would have gone cuckoo. That trick has become something of a nemesis for me recently. I had trouble with it in my world record run of any percent, and I had trouble with it in my last run as well. It's, it's, I haven't practiced it in, you know, forever, and it had become an issue over time. Not this time. I'm going to slow time and knock the shots back, be safe with Yen. Can I knock these back, please? to get treasures after this part too. And in typical speedrunning fashion, I actually really want to get these treasures like really fast, prefer preferably. that I don't miss the water cycle. <gasps> no, 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 no! Oh my god, I almost... Oh my shit, dude. I'm gonna fucking die, that almost... The rest of my poop almost came out. I almost re-dumped my pants. Alright, I didn't make it up, that's okay. That was that was almost the double dumper. There's no more room in my pants for more more poo-poo. The single dumper is, is all I can handle right now. If you fall on the other side of that gate, you have to, like, go play the game casually. I literally don't know how. I wouldn't know what to do. It would have been worse, actually, than the New Game Any% percent run falling down the mountain. This actually would have been worse than that, because I don't know how to get that key. Turtle, don't ruin my chill. I'm in a chill mood, don't ruin it. Okay. 
chill off, Igloo Turtle. Oh no, guys, I thought I had that. What the fuck? That really sucks. That would have been a really good time to get it first try. Mistake. Alright, second try, no big deal. Last time, but better. That was spooky again, oh my god, I got so scared there. I have like no ink, dude. I don't have ink to do like this next section. What the hell? I'm using an infinity. I have an extra, I think. Because I literally, I need to use ink here. I'm pretty sure I had an extra. I could have maybe sold it, but I don't need to. Ooh, clutch. Jesus, it scared me. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. I'm gonna take a quick tab of my inventory here. I need an XS, I don't need an SFS. And I need an XM. Uh oh. I need an XS and an, and an XM. That's what I need. Nothing else. I have enough, I think. You need one of these, and I need one of these. I have enough. Dude, I'm there. I'm like, I'm like in there. It's so tight, dude. Power slash three, 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 power slash don't say power slash three, power slash three, power slash three, power slash three, power slash three. Go. I have enough. 
No Merry Christmas. No Merry Christmas. No Merry Christmas. No Merry Christmas. Got everything right. I'm like so far ahead that I'm scared I forgot something. Maybe I did, but like if I if I did, I tried to fi I tried to figure it out like three times. I, as far as I know, I did not forget anything. There's only a few times in the run where, like, I even conceivably could forget something. Like, the amount of times where, like, I go out of my way and do, like, specific, like, all brush only stuff that isn't, like, going to go do an entire dungeon is, like, really small. It's, like, the, there's the Deluge Thunderbolt part, there's the Cherry Bomb 2 and 3 part, there's the. You know, there's not that many parts that are, like, even possible to, um... For me to have forgotten and not have noticed by now. There's a lot of the powers you use or you need for other stuff. Like, Cherry Bomb 2 and 3, if I forgot those, I would have already noticed because I wouldn't have been able to get Power Slash 3 and Cherry Bomb 2. If I forgot Power Slash 2 or Cherry Bomb 2. If I forgot, like, you know, Inferno, or if I forgot, uh, Mist Warp or something, I would have missed an entire dungeon, basically. Well, I mean, Mist Warp I could have forgotten, but I've used Mist Warp. Fountain, you, I would have, u I've used Fountain multiple times, I haven't forgotten that. The only powers you get that, like, you wouldn't know if you missed them are, like, Thunderbolt, Deluge, and, um, Whirlwind, and I have all of them. So, I, I don't believe that I have missed anything. I got Lilypad. <laughs> Just didn't forget Lilypad. So, I mean, that's, that means it's, like, everything. There's nothing else. It's everything. Alright, Orochi.
Um, the run is going really good. I think I'm like 9 to 10 minutes ahead right now. It's looking like sub I think it is sub 230. That's really cool. I wasn't even trying to do that. That's like, uh, that's really nice. I'm pretty happy about the potential here. Uh, yeah, 330. All I need is for there to be like no internet crash or, or something and it, it's there. Like, it'll probably be 228. Am I supposed to have an SFS for, um... Mm, am I supposed to have an SFS for Crimson Helm? Let me check that. Let me check that before I get into that fight during this loading. Uh, I do not need an SFS for Crimson Helm. Yeah, this run's awesome. I wasn't expecting it to go this well. I was really expecting another train wreck run, and then I was just gonna have to be sad and practice it all week, and it was gonna be a huge problem, and then I was gonna have to try really hard, and it's gonna be just really annoying. But it is uh, quite, quite good, actually. It exceeded my expectations for what I would have tried to get, even if I were practicing a lot. And so now I'm just really nervous something's gonna go wrong, because I'm not recording locally internet drop or twitch explodes or something, I don't know. I mean, I was hoping for the run- I wouldn't expect the worst, but I was- ex I had, like, realistic expectations. And this run is... Uh, exceptionally good. Uh... There are so many things that can go wrong in this run that it's like really special, I think, if you ask me.
so nervous now. I'm not. Well, I'm not nervous. I'm nervous about something else going wrong. Not like me making a mistake. I'm nervous that something is in the game is just gonna like crash or something. Cause this is like pretty pretty tight. This is like almost uh, with current strats. This feels like basically unbeatable. It would be uh, exceptionally difficult to beat this run as it is. Like, I don't think very many people are gonna try, if anybody, but like, it would be... This is like, really, really good. Oh no, I got hit on nine tails, that's kinda of bad. A little bit. Um that's okay. That's not that bad. That's it's quite minor. It's okay. I mean it's not really, really, really minor, but it's not it's not a big deal. It'll lose me a couple seconds at most. Other than the time of getting hit by nine tails. And now I have to shop. Shopping is it. Uh, so I have enough to get 42. Like, there's, yeah, there's no, there's no problem here at all. Everything's fine. Shop, shop, shop. Shop, shop, shop. Excels. Uh, no crash or anything crazy. Nothing crazy. Just go. Let me play. Spooky, dude. Spooky.
I think this is my best run out of any category. Which is fucking weird. This run was fantastic. This was first try Sasa early. CC skip was like third try-ish. Not like super fast, but not super slow either. Both fire tabs I think were quite quick. The first one I think was like second or third try, and the second one was second try. And there were like almost no mistakes like anywhere. Go, Pulse, go. Pony Island was fantastic. Moon Cave was fantastic. The Yen route worked perfectly. The only- okay, so like, what went poorly was like, Ida was pretty bad, there was like two extra day transitions and I failed a race, so I probably lost like, what, I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, something really cringe to Ida. Um, my half blue skip was slow. It took me a good, I don't know, like 15 or 20 seconds to get out of bounds doing half blue skip. Some, sometimes the camera just doesn't let you leave. Um, the fire burst was really bad. I, I fell out of the zone on, on like on fire burst. I had to run back into Sand City after accidentally falling into the loading zone, which is really cringe and unfortunate. Um, I don't know. That's like... and uh, The Crimson Helm, I didn't get the right strat for Crimson Helm, but I did the backup pretty well. I just did it like normal instead of doing it like extra fast. So I was trying to do like the new extra fast strat. Um, and I did not get it, but I got like the backup was really good. This is really hard to beat. For how long the run is, there were not very many mistakes at all. So I'm finally free from this category, because I can't beat this consistently. Freedom!